So NordVPN is probably a name that you've heard before in videos and whatnot. It's a very popular VPN and for a lot of reasons. So I'll talk about these reasons. If you're not sure about NordVPN and what it is, I'll talk about that. If you're wondering whether or not you should get it, I'll also talk about that at the end of the video and I'll teach you how to use it. Okay, so let's start with NordVPN. So NordVPN is basically, it's just a virtual private network that you use uh, in order to get access to, well, the free internet if you're in a censorship heavy country so you can bypass network firewalls uh, if you want to stream content that's not available to you if you want to get access to foreign markets and foreign websites that are also not available to you you can bypass the regional restrictions so to say and get access to whatever content that you need to access while on a business trip or if you're abroad you can use a vpn for that of course it's also good for security and nordvpn is one of the old players in the vpn industry so as far as security and privacy they do promise a no locks policy and they have plenty of proof honestly in the form of independent audit reports so yeah your information is definitely safe with nordvpn and so nordvpn's become very popular simply because it does what it's supposed to do really well now i've got this whole map set up here let's learn how to use this thing it's really easy actually let's say i want to connect to a server all i need to do is just zoom in here let's say i want to connect to uh, paris and just click on the dot here and that is basically it but i don't want to connect right now uh, because i'm not really in need of connecting to the paris server so let's go ahead and just take a look at the entire interface here Okay, now let's learn how to use NordVPN. Now you'll see the interface here. You can make it a little bigger if you'd like. Let's just go ahead and expand it a little bit more so that you can see better. So you have a map interface here and I do like this map design. Um, connecting to a server is as simple as just zooming in and connecting to one of them. So let's just go ahead and click on Frankfurt and it's as simple as that as far as connecting to the vpn so and to double check just go to any ip finder on the internet and you'll be able to double check whether or not you're actually connected to the server as you can tell my internet now thinks i'm in germany and i have access to the german content simply because i'm connected to the frankfurt server here with nord vpn so let's go ahead and turn it off now if you don't want to mess with the map you can just go ahead and look up for example New York, you can look up cities as well. So yeah, you can look up your states or cities or countries, whatever it is, and they will show up right here. Or you can just go through the list and pick one of them. You have some specialty servers here, which will serve different purposes. Dedicated IP servers will have the same IP every time you connect to the VPN. And the IP address is what I just showed you guys, except that when you connect to a VPN server regularly, uh, it's always going to change your IP every time you turn off and turn on the VPN, even if you connect to the same location, it'll have a different IP address. So that's what we call dynamic IP address. Here, it's dedicated IP. So it's always gonna be the same IP address every time you pick a server here. So 805 is always gonna have the same IP address, even if you turn off the VPN and turn it on again, it's just not dynamic. Now, double VPN is going to route your connection to two servers instead of just one for double the encryption. So it's just double the security. Uh, and then obfuscator servers will be very useful if you're in a censorship heavy country and you're having trouble connecting to NordVPN, you could use obfuscated servers to help you out. Onion over VPN for you Tor users, peer to peer, which is optimized for torrenting and file sharing. And here you have a bunch of bonus features. And of course, if I haven't mentioned, you have over 5,800 servers in 60 countries, which is a pretty decent amount. And you'll be able to secure up to six devices per subscription. And as you can tell, using it is very straightforward, but let's go to these features. Now, threat protection is just a bonus feature. So this is gonna act like a little bit of a mini antivirus protecting you from harmful files and websites. MeshNet is basically encrypted remote access, and it's also a safe way to share files over uh, the encrypted network of NordVPN. And finally, Dark Web Monitor will keep an eye out for data that's linked to your email address, passwords, or any other personal information. If we go to the settings, you have the kill switch and split tunneling. Now the kill switch will kill the internet connection when the VPN disconnects unexpectedly, making sure that you're only gonna be connected to the internet while you're secured by the VPN tunnel. And the app kill switch will make sure that selected apps will be closed instead of the entire connection when the VPN disconnects unexpectedly. Split tunneling is very useful, especially if let's say you want only Google Chrome to use the VPN, or maybe you don't want Google Chrome to use the VPN, you can single out applications and pick exactly which applications use the VPN while leaving the rest of your network outside the VPN tunnel or vice versa. It's a very useful feature. Uh, and if you go to connection, you'll notice that you have an easy way to change your DNS for custom DNS. So you can use this for 
parental control, for example, uh, if you have NordVPN uh, installed on your router, especially. Of course, that's an entirely different process if you want to install it on a router, a different video for that. And you have the protocol here. I always recommend using NordLynx because it's the fastest option. Everything else is just up to preference if you want to mess with the other settings, but these are the main settings that you want to know about the kill switch and split tunneling and which protocol to choose. And you can just activate all these bonus features such as threat protection and dark web monitor and mesh net. You might find yourself using it one day. Um, it could come in handy. It's actually a free service. Uh, NordVPN's made it free, uh, which is very nice of them. Overall, I would say that NordVPN is an incredibly well-rounded VPN that offers a whole bunch of bonus features for a very reasonable price, and you'll be able to save more using the link below. And all of that while keeping up very high performance and security leads me to feel very comfortable kind of just recommending it to family and friends. And as a result, I would recommend it to you guys. Now, if you're on Mac, beware, you're not gonna get split tunneling. So if you really like the split tunneling feature, you're not gonna get it on iOS or your MacBook, but at least you'll be getting it on Android and Windows. And you also might find different protocols, by the way, on Mac and iOS. Uh, but you will still find the NordLynx protocol, so no worries there. So that'll be it for this video. If you're interested in NordVPN, you'll find a link below to help you save a little bit more money on your subscription. Uh, and you'll also find a full review if you'd like to learn more about the privacy policy, speed, streaming, and torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.